Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 4th of February, Holy Mother, the Church celebrates Saint John de Brito. And the Church in India especially celebrates the feast of Saint John de Brito because he is related to our country. And how? Let's know that. Among the, among the favorites of Don Pedro, King of Portugal, was one little boy whose name was John de Brito, the son of a rich and princely parent. It is stated that when John was a child, he felt so grievously ill that his mother took a vow that if my child is healed, then she will make uh, the child wear the uniform of St. Francis of Xavier, St. Francis Xavier. And that's how she dedicated her son to him. In answer to her prayers, he recovered and his mother rested him for a year in the garb worn in those days by the Jesuit fathers. From then on, John's heart burned to follow the example of the Apostle of the Indies, aspiring only to wear the habit of the great missionary and to devote his life to the conversion of the infidel. He was admitted into the Society of Jesus at the age of 15. His success in studies was so remarkable that great efforts were made after his ordination to keep him in Portugal. But grace triumphed and in 1673, he set sail for Goa with 16 of his fellow Jesuits. The rest of his life except for a brief interval, was spent uh, amid incredible hardships and hindrances of all kinds in evangelizing southern India. Those who worked with him in their letters to Europe speak in glowing terms of his courage and devotion, of the extraordinary austerity of the life and of the rich harvest of conversions which were the fruit of his labors. Forced to return to Portugal in 1683, John once more broke through every obstacle and returned to his labor of love in 1691. Like St. John the Baptist, he was beheaded after a torturous imprisonment. I await that he had written to his superior, and I await it with patience. It has always been the object of my prayers. It forms today the most precious reward of my labors and my suffering. St. John was canonized by Pope Pius Pope Pius XII in 1947. Saint John de Brito, he died in a place called Oriur. It was there that he was beheaded. And in Oriur, even to this day, you will find the soil being red. The red sand saint is called. Red sand. Uh, uh, it's, it's blood red. Miracle, yes. And in India, South India, in our own place. So sanctity and saints are not a story of far. Uh, it's not, not story of old. It's a story of people who have touched our lives. It's a story of people who have lived uh, along with us. Saint John de Brito, someone who came from Portugal, from a kingly, from a kingly family, finds himself in India, in southern India, and how he changed things for Christ is a beautiful story. Let our lives also be a story, a story of love for Christ. Amen.